calls for a picture. What's wrong? Well, it's uh, just, uh, you four look great together. This is the happiest moment of my life. I, I just feel, I feel 10 inches tall. Mr. Love. Yes. Very sorry to disturb you at your lovely abode. I hope we're not intruding. My name's Reginald Stout. This is my wife, Camille. An extreme pleasure. We're looking for Stuart. Are you friends of his? <laughs> not exactly. Fellow yachtsman? Guess again. Reggie, just tell him. Where are his parents? we have to catch up on. Why didn't you want me? Stuart, it shames me to say this, but you weren't born into a prosperous home. That's right. We couldn't feed you, dear. Couldn't feed him. How much could he eat? George, please. Letting you go was the toughest choice we ever made. It was? Yes, but now we can be a family again. Absolutely. Are these salted? Dear, the children? Uh, yeah, uh, George, Stuart, I, I think we need to talk to the stats alone. Don't worry, Mom and Dad will take care of it. Mr. and Mrs. Stout, I'm afraid there's been a mistake. Right. Stuart can't leave with you. He, he's, he's... He's one of the family. Exactly. You may feel like he's family, but he'll never really be family. You may not realize it, but... I'm sure he does. There's something you'll never be able to give him. Because you're human. No offense. It's a place that you'll never be able to fill. An empty space. Mom. Dad. You want me to leave? No. Oh, dear. We just want what's best for you. But Stuart lives here. George, come on. This is hard for all of us. This stinks. Understand. I thought it was in a fairy tale. Fairy tales are made up stories, Stuart. This is real. This is about where you belong. Please come home, Stuart. Your real home. You're gonna love it, son. We live on a golf course. We look right over the ninth fairway. It's beautiful. Beautiful. 